We've come to the inglorious section of the show where something has to go or someone has to go. We call it has to go. Dan Raj, what say you? So, so the day I was out in this, in this yakun, and the guy taking my, taking the orders, right, the cashier, he won't take the order of, of, of everyone first. He will take one order, then he will go and do the, while the rest of them are standing in the queue. So it takes very long. Okay, and there are other staff in the in Yakun doing something else. So I think this is a purpose ploy by this company to make the queue become longer. Because you know in, in Singapore, right? If something there's a queue, people will go and queue, they love to the queue. Right? Many people like the queue, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that guy. Who doesn't want to take my order and he does the egg first before he does my order yeah he has to go <laughs> so he has to go because his company asked him to do that so he he's the one who has to go okay this is or is it here. the company has to go so we agree the company has to go <laughs> yeah, the policy has to go the policy okay. has to go i'll leave the audience <laughs> who has to go yeah vote in the um poll at the bottom <laughs> company policy or individual what time? <laughs> so, um, I, I'm a very peaceful Chinese Christian guy, you know, nice Christian gentleman, you know. So I, I mean, I usually don't think that people have to go, but until one day, I was driving, right? So I was like, you know, driving then Singapore got a lot of traffic lights. So when I stopped at the traffic light and then my light turned green, I was about to go. And then this bloody person keep uh, crossing the road slowly, you no, know, so jaywalking already. Uh, you know, and then the worst thing is that she's ugly. Right? So when she's walking slowly and then she's jay walking, I'm ready to go. And then she looked at me because I was like inching forward and then she looked at me with her ugly face. And I was expecting me to just give up my five seconds to indulge her to jay walk. So if she if she was prettier, is it okay? It's okay, I will have given her some some more time because <laughs> I mean because at least I'm looking at a nice scenery, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so so this type of people. The ugly people who jaywalk, jaywalk. they have to go. <laughs> right? yeah. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay, when, when you say has to go, right? Yeah. It's actually a death sentence. You know? That means the government has to come up with a new law and then death sentence. Well, okay, I mean death sentence, I'll put them in some island and then they can jaywalk all they want. You know, and then put only beautiful people to jaywalk. <laughs> okay. So if you score below five, Count yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yes. <laughs> okay. As the current president of the uh, beautiful Jay Walkers uh, Appreciation uh, Society, <laughs> I, I'm willing to take the role of like uh, okay. ranking everyone. Okay, okay. So I, I just want to check. Okay, I don't drive anymore. <laughs> now I take bus and I am I No, you're definitely below one. Ah oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Can I Jay Walk, Raj? Yeah, you <sighs> I'd like to go back to what you said about Yaku. Yeah. Right. You know. Uh, you get kaya bread, yes. all different kinds. But you know, Yaku huh? took the sliced bread, the fluffy local white bread, oh, yes. and then cut it horizontal. Half. Cut to half, right? Cut to half, but horizontal. So it then become like kaya biscuits. Yes. Very crispy. <laughs> yeah. That has to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, at this Yakun guy, right? Mm. We need to give credit where it's due. Okay? If you see if you see Yakun, right, they say there that he started this business in nineteen forty four. Do you know? Yeah. In Yakun you can see since nineteen forty four. That means right, during World War Two, while the other Chinese people were being killed. This guy started a coffee shop. Would you believe that? <laughs> That's how good Chinese people are. Even during a war. It doesn't mean the name is Yakun means Chinese, though. He could be like uh, Indian with a Chinese name. Mm. Like you call yourself Dan already, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> so it, was, it could be Yakun Raj. You think Yakun? So you're saying the Yakun characters were started by Indian guy? Could be lah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, long time ago, I was not alive during World War Two. Good marketing. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think you would have started it because of the the Japanese privilege. Yeah. <laughs> 1944, they have Japanese privilege. So I think maybe we should invite Yakun here for the podcast. 
let them defend themselves. <laughs> yeah, get the Aku sports person. Yeah, but during World War Two, you know, he started a coffee shop during World War Two. Yeah. It's amazing, right? Yeah. yeah. Of all the times to start, right? Yeah. Nineteen forty-four. And, and how did he start the coffee shop? Did he have like an Accra to go and register, <laughs> or just any house saying? Well, he, I, I heard he rented the place to property guru. <laughs> <laughs> So if anybody is not product placement. <laughs> okay. So the next person that has to go is you know there is a smoking corner in the coffee shop. You know what? Yes. And then that place is reserved for smokers to go and smoke. So sometimes I go there and I can't find any seats. Because there are non-smokers who are sitting there taking up the place. Mm. Right? I think this is really bad because the entire reason to come up with this smoking area is to protect this guy from inhaling the yeah and yes. what the fuck is he doing there yeah so that guy has to go yes i <laughs> set an emotion yeah i and this is very special i i should just be given the right i go to a coffee shop i see a person not smoking in the smoking area i must be given the right to just give him up but how do you know that he has not previously had smoke five minutes ago? Okay, okay. Time? So I've asked him first, lah. Of course, then. To smell, to be fair. Yeah, you have to like ask him to show proof that. Yeah, he has, he has smoke. Yeah, yeah I ask, hey, bro, do you yeah, smoke? Yeah. No. Okay. Please leave this place. So there must be like a checklist for you to find out Correct. before you can see yeah. him, or whether he has to go. If he says he doesn't smoke, but he wants to start smoking, okay. then I say okay. You want to learn, now You want to I learn how to smoke. smoke. Okay. <laughs> then then, right? Like inter- <laughs> internship, 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 yes. Internship. yes. Yes, I think it's very seriously. No, I think I think you're I think you're a bit too harsh. If like, you know, you never really qualify whether this person has to go. I mean, give a chance first, now. Okay. Yeah. If he has a if he has a girlfriend who's a smoker and he's waiting for her in the smoking corner, yeah. holding the table for her. Mm. Okay. Can I'll I'll let it slide. Mm. But I'll give half an hour for the girlfriend to come. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm glad we can come to. The <laughs> it's, Don't be too harsh. Now. You see the smoking corners. No la, of course not. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good point. Yeah. Talking about toast box, huh? because yes. I go to toast box every day. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I buy the coffee package because I'm, I'm officially an uncle now. Right? So <laughs> I, I drink coffee every morning. So I buy this package from toast box. And the number one thing that I hate is that when there's a long queue at toast box, but yours, you were angry because of the cashier doing the eggs or this. I'm angry with people who, who queue in the queue. The menu is so big. You have all the time to think about what you want to order, right? I mean, and toast box is just toast box, right? It's not like selling hundreds of uh, menu items. So why can't you just decide what you want to eat when you're in the queue? But when they go to cashier, they start asking things like, "Hey, uh, is this uh, mee rebus nice or not? Uh? Is this laksa? Uh, is this laksa famous or popular? Do you think that the the kaya toast is better or?" I say, "What the hell, man! Is like can you decide and then you are taking up a precious time? You know, it's like we we just want to have our coffee, you know. So these people who cannot decide." In a simple place like toast box, what to eat on the queue? Has to go. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, I just realized where you're talking, right? You sound like Gojo Tom, bro. Really? Yeah. <laughs> right? I, I wish I'm Gojo Tom. Uh. <laughs> it's almost as tall. Yeah, it's tall. Yeah. I wish I'm Gojo Tom. Uh. I mean, then I wouldn't. So I wear white one. So I wear white. Even. Thanks so much for watching the Unfiltered Podcast. Do like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you again real soon. Be there!